G'day guys, how are we going? Well, I'm down here at Diesel Tune Australia in Dandenong, and they've got this 2018 model PX2 Ford Ranger that's come in. Now, this vehicle has been here once before, and they've already installed quite a few under the bonnet performance bits and pieces. And now, they're gonna install high flow fuel injectors. What does all that mean? Well, let's go and get hold of Matt, and he's gonna tell us all about it. Right, Matt, so this Ford Ranger has been into you guys down the track to fit some under the bonnet um, performance bits and pieces. What did you do in that first stage? Okay, so we, yeah, this car's got essentially now the burger with a lot, right? Uh, we've fitted our Torque Max Turbo to it. We've fitted uh, Process West Separator Catch Can, the Process West Front Man Intercooler Kit. Uh, it's had the PSI Co Airbox fitted to it. It's got a full exhaust. Uh, it's pretty much our stage three package uh, for a Ranger. Righto, so as you mentioned with the fuel injectors, you're going to upgrade those. So how is that going to complement the work you've already done for them? Yep. So what we've done really with, with adding the airbox and the turbo is added more boost pressure to the to the engine. Uh, with any, well, to make power in a diesel engine, you need to add fuel uh, and air. And uh, our limitation has been now, well, has been in the past, has been air, but we've fixed that by putting an airbox and the exhaust and the intercooler and the turbocharger on it and now we're at the point where we can't put any more fuel into the engine to make any more power. So the air fuel ratio on these cars now are about 20 to one, which is quite lean. Uh, we want to bring it back to about 18, which is still very, very safe. And the only way we can do that is with larger fuel injector nozzles. Well, let's say we get this uh, on the dyno, mate, get the boys get into it and we'll make a start. Yeah, you'll see a big difference, Tim. They, they really do make a big difference. Well, that's the starting figures of 136 kilowatts. Now the process begins to remove the fuel injectors. There's the first two out, all of the pieces are numbered to ensure they stay in order. The new high flow injector nozzles are laid out and they replace the standard nozzles. Each fuel injector is placed back into the same chamber. And numbering all of the pieces relates to the chamber it came out of. The last few pieces are installed and the motor is ready to start. That's a pretty significant increase after just changing the nozzles over on those fuel injectors. Guy's going to be pretty happy with that, I reckon. Yeah, it's actually quite an amazing difference that we can get uh, just by changing those nozzles. Um, obviously, it allows us to put a lot more fuel into the tune, uh, and then we can put more boost into it to go along with it, which is the recipe for making power on a diesel and safely and reliably. Uh, you'll find the air fuel ratio on, these, on this, how it is now, is not much different to how it was when we started, but because we can add fuel and boost, we're able to get the air fuel ratio down to that safe level again and, and have the thing still reliable. Uh, but in the process, I mean, we've picked up nearly 20%, it's probably gonna be a little bit 25% more through the mid-range, so a very noticeable difference in performance and torque, uh, or power and torque. 
Um, I mean, this thing already went good. Uh, had the turbocharger and intercooler on it. Um, the power figures are probably a little bit lower than what we'd expect to see before and after, but it does have big meats on it, this car, as you'll see. I mean, we have seen upwards of 170 kilowatts at the wheels out of an injector upgrade on a car like this, which is just amazing numbers compared to, you know, hey, back in the day we'd put a 185 kilowatt club sport on the, on the dyno and it wouldn't make that. And you're getting out of a 3.2 diesel, so really amazing. And uh, you know, everything else there in the car is there to support it. So the guy will love it. Yeah, look, that's absolutely a great result, mate. So if people want to find out more about all the work you do down here at Diesel Tin Australia, where do they go? So the first port of, port of call would be our website, and that's www.dieseltuneaustralia.com, or they can give us a call on 03 9793 1616, uh, and we can help. We have got dealers around the country that can assist with something like this, so... Well, there you go, guys. That's where all the information is. Fair chance. I'll see you out in the bush someday. Thanks, mate. No worries, Tim.